Hello everyone. We will continue the batch input recording method of LSMW. And we finished up to fifth step in the previous video. Now we will move on to next step. What is the next step? Define fixed values, translation and user defined routines. If you want to define some fixed value, if you want to do some translation or if you want to define some user defined routines, you can make use of this step. In our current requirement, we are not going for any fixed value translation and user defined routines. So I will not do anything in this step. In the project might be you will get a chance to work on this step. So whenever you want to do some translation, you want to define some user defined routine or you want to define some fixed value, you can make use of this step. I'm moving on to next step. What is our next step? Specify file. Now we will specify the file, whatever the file we have, we will specify the file in this step. So what I will do? Firstly, I will change the material number in the file so that we will be able to create the new materials. Suppose I will give the material number now, suppose 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. We have same to same requirement. Now we are achieving through batch input recording method of LSMW. Now, I will execute the specify file steps. I will go to change mode. Now, our legacy data is on the PC, is on our PC. So, I will simply use this step on the PC. I will double click and you can see pop up opened. Now, I will simply, simply click on to this F4 button. Whenever I will click on to the F4 button, it will show my desktop and I will select the file from the desktop. If you remember in BDC what you did, you wrote a logic for the same. If I will open the BDC program, at that time what we did, we used the SAP function module F4 underscore file name. We selected the file and it returned the full name of the file, full path of the file. Same thing is here. Now I will simply browse. It will show my desktop and I will select the file from the desktop. I'll just wait. I think the system is slow. Yes. Now it is showing my desktop. I will choose the file. What is the file? Legacy materials. I'll go for open. And you can see file path came. Full file path came. I will give the short description. Suppose legacy materials. Now, if you remember what is the separator in the file tabulator, one column, there is the separator between the columns is tabulator. So I will go for tabulator. Now I will go to this particular checkbox. What is this checkbox? File name at start of file. If you see our file, our data starts from the first row itself. We are not going for any column label or field names. If you have a file in which the first row is your column names, so please, please select this particular checkbox. If you select this checkbox, SAP will start your data from the second line. If you are not selecting this particular checkbox, 
SAP will take that your data is starting from the first line. And in our file, we are not going for any field name or column names. We are directly going for that data. So I will not select this particular checkbox. I will go for OK. Now, this particular step done, we specified the file. I will save this particular step. Now I will go to next step. Our next step is assigning the files. Firstly, we specified the file. Now we will assign the file. And you can see SAP automatically assigned the file because we have only one file, one file. And you can see whatever the file we have it is assigned to our source structure. It is assigned to our source structure. Whatever the name you gave in the SAP, that particular file is assigned to that source structure. This is what we want. Now, this particular source structure, our data is assigning, our file is assigning to this source structure. If you have multiple files in the project, Similarly, you have to click on to the assignment button and you have to do the one by one assignment. Suppose I'm deleting this. Now, how you can do the assignment? You have to click on to assignment button and you can see whatever the file we have, it is assigned to our source structure. Whenever you have multiple files, you have to assign one by one to the source structure. I will save this step. Now we will read the data of the file. If you remember in BDC also, we did the same thing after upload, after getting the full name of the file, full path of the file. We read the data of the file using GUI upload function module. Here we have a dedicated step itself. So I will go for read data. I will go for execute. I'll go for allow. And you can see it is successfully reading our five records. Our file has five records. Now you can verify the data also that it is successfully or it is correctly reading or not. I will go for display read data. Okay. Now I will go show you the record one by one. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see everything is correct. You also have to verify the data that your data is correctly reading or not. Material, industry sector, material type, MAKTX, description, unit of measurement. Everything is correct. This is the second material, second record. This is the third record. This is the fourth record. And this is our fifth record. It means our data is successfully reading. Our, we are able to successfully read that data. In BDC, you use GUI upload function module to read that data. Here we have a dedicated step itself, read and read data. Now, we will go for now convert data. We will go for convert converting the data because SAP can accept that data. Whatever the data we have, we have to convert that so that SAP can accept that data. I will go for convert. I will go for OK. Now, five records successfully converted also. We will see now. Is, this, is it successfully converted? It's very, very important to verify. If you will see the first record, you can see conversion is also right. MATNR, MBRSH, MTART, MAKTX, MEINS. First record, it is successfully converted. You can check the problem here itself. It must, sometimes it happens that data is not data reading is a problem. Data conversion is a problem. So you can check the problem here itself. 
now if i will go to second record it is also correctly converted now i will go to third record successfully converted this is my fourth record yes it is also right and this is my fifth record now we successfully converted the data also so what we learned in this particular video we covered the specify file step in which we uploaded the file we used the tabulator as a separator and what we discussed the checkbox file name at start of file if your first row is a column labels you always always has to select this particular checkbox file name at start of file now after that what we did we assigned our files to the source structure whatever the source structure we defined in the sap after that we read the data we verified the data that data is successfully read or not after that we converted the data and we verified also that data is successfully converted or not rest part we will continue in the next video thank you